Well, in today's video, it's all about testing batteries and more specifically, one-time use lithium batteries. Well, now it's not hard to see here what has been my favorite go-to battery to operate my trail cameras for the last number of years. In fact, I did a comparison video where I took some popular alkaline batteries and compared them directly to the Energizer Lithium battery. And although the Energizer Lithium cost more, in my test, it showed you get more bang for your buck. In fact, you get more operating time on the lithium batteries in the trail camera than you do versus the alkaline batteries. And you compare the cost versus the run time, you still come out ahead using the Energizer Lithium. I'll put a link right up here to that complete video where you can see the experiment that I did where I pinned them head to head and my breakdown and the cost analysis for each battery. Because of that video, EBL contacted me so that's today's video. We're gonna be comparing the EBL directly head to head with the Energizer Ultimate Lithium. Which one's gonna win? We're gonna compare the runtime versus the cost. I don't know who's gonna win, but we're about to find out. So as I mentioned, EBL sent at no charge to me a number of their one-time use lithium batteries. Eight of those batteries I put right into a trail camera and put it out into the woods. It's been out there nearly two months now. It's still showing 100% and it's been working perfectly. But today I wanna to do a head-to-head -head direct comparison, a little bit of a torture test for these lithium batteries. I'm gonna be taking eight EBL one-time use lithium batteries and compare them directly to the Energizer Ultimate Lithium. I'll put each brand lithium battery into identical trail cameras. I'll set the trail cameras up and operate them nonstop until the batteries fail. I'll then be able to calculate how many record minutes each battery provided, and in the end, I'll do a cost analysis. The EBL cost per minute to operate versus the Energizer batteries. I'm anxious to find out the results, so let's get to testing. So the EBL Lithium is advertised as a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. It's also advertised as 1.5 volts and long lasting. When you order the batteries, they come in a plastic case, and of course you can order different quantities, but it comes with four batteries per case. So for my test, I'm gonna take two identical make and model trail cameras. I'll put in eight EBL batteries and eight Ultimate Energizer Lithium batteries. But first I'm gonna take a volt reading when they're new, right out of the pack. I'll start off with the Energizer battery, and new, right out of the pack, the Energizer battery shows 1.79 volts. Next, it's the EBL battery. When we take a volt reading on that, we also get 1.79 volts. Next, I put eight brand new batteries from each brand into each trail camera. I also put the trail cameras on identical settings and then set them up side by side for my experiment. For this test, each of the trail cameras will be set on a 30 second video followed by a 10 second rest. I concocted a contraption in front of the trail cameras to make them trigger non-stop. So they're gonna be taking this 30 second video followed by a 10 second rest, and they're gonna go non-stop until the batteries die. Let's see what happens. So the testing is done and the results are in. Now keep in mind, this is an unofficial, non-scientific test, but honestly, I don't know what I could do to make it more fair. In my test, the Ultimate Lithium from Energizer lasted 242 record minutes. So 242 record minutes. In my previous testing during winter time, I got 240 record minutes from the Energizer Lithium. So very consistent in both those tests last year and now this test again, 242 record minutes from the Energizer Ultimate Lithium. The one-time use lithium battery from EBL, I got 245 record minutes. Just so beat out the Energizer Lithium, very close, but I did get three more record minutes with the EBL batteries. Let's do a price comparison because the Energizer Ultimate Lithium for an eight pack of batteries is currently listed as $19.99. That's approximately $2.50 per battery. 
The EBL right now for an eight pack of batteries is $16.99, about $2.12 per battery. So now if we do a cost analysis, if we take the cost of the eight pack of batteries divided by the record time, the Energizer Ultimate Lithium came in at 0.83 cents per recorded minute, while the EBL battery came in at 0.69 cents per recorded minute. So in my testing, the EBL battery was the winner. Not only was it the cheaper battery to purchase, it lasted just a little bit longer than the Energizer Ultimate Lithium when compared head to head at the exact same conditions. So I was a bit surprised by the results. I was happy to see that the more economical battery actually lasted longer than the Energizer Lithium. It wasn't by much, but when you do the cost comparison, the winner of this test was the EBL battery. Now keep in mind, any one-time use Ultimate Lithium battery will beat out an alkaline battery every single time. Another thing to keep in mind with any brand one-time use lithium battery, they far outperform any other battery in cold weather. Do not get confused with rechargeable lithiums. They are not rated to the same cold temperature. One-time use lithium batteries will outperform both the lithium rechargeable and the alkaline batteries in extreme cold temperatures. So I'd love to hear from you. Were you surprised with these results? What did you think of my test? Was it a fair head-to-head -head comparison? No doubt the cost of these lithium batteries have skyrocketed and gone through the roof. I don't solely depend on these batteries anymore like I did in the past. Solar has definitely become my number one go-to now. And I do use quite a bit of rechargeable lithium batteries. But in this test, you can see the performance of the one-time use lithium batteries from EBL and Energizer. So please leave me a comment down in the comments section. I love hearing from you and I try and get back to each and every one of you. I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.